Sir Jonathan, thank you very much for inviting us here to Apple HQ. Lovely to meet you. Thank you very much. The role of a designer is to actually look and to question. So that's where sort of inspiration comes from, is by just observing you know, our, our manufactured, our material environment, and observing what we do and what we perhaps could do and what we might want to do. What inspires you to make your design? Well, I do get a bit cross when I think things don't work very well. I think the biggest inspiration comes from just being in the world and having your eyes open and truly seeing and asking those big questions, you know, asking why, why does it have to be this way? You have to be a little bit stubborn, but thinking, I truly believe that there's, there's another way we could do this. What got you into the design technology? Well, it was really the only thing I could do. <laughs> um, I loved drawing and making, making things. So um, I didn't really know what that was called. It was later on that I realised that was called design. Well, I used to take things to bits a lot. Yeah. And, and eventually I could f I've managed to figure out how to put them back together again. Oh. But taking stuff to pieces, you learn a lot about you know, what's behind the outside. What advice would you give to kids like us who are working with technology? It's about the importance of being curious and inquisitive and the importance of not just accepting things at face value, you know, just, just to, to be asking those questions, like, but why? What, why? Why is it like this? What if there was a completely different approach to, to solving this problem? What could you then do? To meet Sir Johnny Ives, it felt like astounding because like here's a man who has achieved so much and he is literally right in front of me. Yeah. <laughs>